Well, hey there, welcome back to Clover Creek. I'm Mike, and we are here on the first day of summer. And I did not back that up correctly. Let's try that again. Try to get this mower hooked up here. Going to do a little bit of mowing today. There we go. Let me take a measurement here on the grass. I want to make sure that it's dry enough that I don't have to use a tether. And it is 19%. So that should be good. Last time Ryan struck off on the big fertilizing contract and he did get that completed for us. Made $126,000. It was a great boost to the bank account. And then I turned right around and spent it. I sure did. You can see we're down to $24,000. And we're also up to $400,000 in a loan now. So running out of loan. But I bought something that is going to be critical for our success. A harvester. It was on the uh, classifieds ad. And I bought it. It was actually uh, something I was looking at purchasing. It just so happened to drop in. So I, I really had no choice. I had to buy it. So I went ahead and got that. Took out the loan to make up the difference from what I needed. And uh, so now I have a harvester. Don't have a header. But we can pick that up later on. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just mowing some of this grass that's around the farm. Uh, if we didn't have some of these trees here, it would be a little bit easier. But we're just going to go around and uh, get this mowed up here. Uh, the clover and peanuts both have sprouted and are growing. So not a whole lot to do right now. The cows are doing pretty good. They have plenty of uh, silage and grass to eat. So that's good and uh, everything else is just uh, just kind of on hold waiting for things to grow uh, Ryan has taken the day part of the day off he may be back later on this this afternoon but it's just going to be me for the morning so I'm just going to run this around here and try and get it mowed up and let it dry for some hay I'm going to try to get some hay in the uh, hay barn. And that way uh, we'll have both hay and silage so that we can uh, start making some TMR. The only thing I did not do is uh, plant anything that will have straw. So we will not have any straw to mix in with the TMR. Don't need it, uh, but it does just bulk it up a bit and make it go a little farther. So we have a couple spots around here that I'm going to try to get mowed. Uh, this area over here and uh, some area up there around the front of the property. The area that I mowed last time has not grown back yet so that is not going to be able to be used yet. Uh, back there behind the house directly in front of us is actually a Mr. Gerber's property, so can't mow that. So yeah, just going to get this mowed up here and uh, try and uh, see if the uh, sun won't dry it out for us. We'll get some hay. Yeah, moved over here to this area beside the silo here. I got it on the other side of the shed, so we'll try and knock this out here. Don't want to get too close to that concrete pad there. Quite a few trees over there, so that made uh, things a little bit difficult. I was not able to get around all of them, and I don't want to get too close to the tanks over here. I don't want to get any fertilizer or lime mixed in with the hay. Quite a bit of grass just out of and about. So this will be a really good boost to the uh, feed, st feed supplies. So 
So Ryan has done a great job so far. He is going to be a great addition to uh, the farm. A little bit about him. Uh, he's he's younger. He I think he's around 24, 25 years old. And had actually gone to school to be a welder. I went to a trade school. I finished that up and was looking for work. And then his mom got sick. And he wanted to uh, stay around here. To uh, be be with her, which is which is understandable, and he was not able to find any work. There just wasn't much around here. Uh, he's picked up some some odds and end jobs, but nothing nothing full time. So he is uh, working or was working for the shop part time. Uh, actually doing some welding for them miscellaneous welding jobs that they had equipment coming in getting damaged and then I think he also uh, did some uh, general cleanup on equipment you know pressure washing lubing things like that so he just was not able to get the hours in so this is this is going to be really good for him if he's able to pick this up full time and be able to work locally so that he can be around his family and he does a great job so that's always a plus I may not be able to make this turn here yeah we go that's a little steeper than I thought so I'm still looking around for some more help I do need to try and get at least one more person hired on before the harvest Possibly two. We'll have to see. Uh, still, still running the ad for uh, applications, but have not found anyone else yet. I do think that Dr. Howard has plans to come by and visit at some point in the near future. I think he wanted to show up sometime around the harvest so I'm not too sure when he'll be here definitely need to make sure the place is looking good for his arrival let's see all right we're left off over here just trying to uh, run around and get these uh, areas of grass don't really have a, a pattern or anything just trying to get what's easy to get around some of these trees I'm very excited to have gotten that harvester that was a really good deal getting it used so we only have three hundred fifty thousand dollars left uh, of that loan that we could tap into hopefully we won't need to but I am afraid we probably will the only trailer we have is that one little gravity wagon and that ain't gonna cut it for hauling grain so definitely gonna need to either pick up another gravity wagon or two and at some point I'm sure we're gonna need a truck and trailer to haul this stuff off. I'm not going to cut out here around the front of the pins. It's pretty dusty around these roads. Let's go over here in front of the pond. I think we can cut around this. And I get quite a bit. Got all of this down here down to the gate that we can mow. Well, I've been sitting in the uh, rocking chair down there by the lake most of the day, just sitting around. I did take a trip up to the shop and bought a new hay rake. The hay actually just got ready, just after 6 o'clock here. So we are going to uh, jump in here. Got this Vermeer 
rake, it was uh, $15,000. It's the best I could do on it. So we're going to uh, hop in here, get this thing unfolded, and uh, start raking up some hay. Try and get this done before dark. Start over here. Around the side of the shed here. Ryan ended up taking the whole day off. He wanted to uh, spend some time with his family. So it's been fine. There, oh shoot, I'm missing a spot there. Wasn't a whole lot going on today. So it was a good day for him to take off. So it all worked out. get it now so I'm not sure how much hay this will actually end up with in the uh, shed or in the hay barn here and go up the other side make sure you get close enough there so we get it all pull it out away from that field I have not sold that other rake. Uh, we still have it under the barn. Uh, just is way too small for what we need to do here. So that's why I went ahead and bought this new one. Figure it will be well worth the investment. Seems to be working out pretty good here. I just need to learn how to not miss. I think I'm going to hit that tree there. Oh, I just missed it. Well, 
it is just after 7 o'clock and I have got my first load of hay picked up in the trailer here but there's rain on the way so I need to boogie and get this stuff put up as fast as I can let me get these doors open here alright let's pull through here and get this unloaded Oh, actually, this is where I load. I'm going the wrong spot. This is where I need to go. Alright, that is working out really well. Almost empty here. And we'll go get another load. The cows are doing great. They have no hay or silage, but they have plenty of grass right now. And since they are not producing milk, there's really no, no reason to feed them anything other than grass and we're basically just letting them grow and have some offspring so that they can start producing milk once they start with the milk production that's when we can kick up the uh, the production with the TMR so I'll watch that grass level I think that should get them through tonight and then probably tomorrow we'll need to feed them something uh, either some silage or hay We did not get down to the shop and take a look at the new combine. I'm just realizing that. Well, we'll definitely have to uh, take a look at that on the uh, next time we're together. Shoot, we may be using it next time we're together. Alright, we'll get that unloaded. So not a whole lot going on around the farm today. Just a little bit of hay making on some of the grass around the farm so I'll go ahead and uh, get the rest of this collected up before dark hopefully and get it in the barn and look for some more chores to do tomorrow I'm sure there'll be plenty hope you enjoyed the episode thanks for watching